Hello. Hello! Welcome to Explore Home Repeat. My name's Matt. And I'm Izzy. And today we are at Stratford upon Avon. Beautiful Warwickshire town. Loads of history here. Yeah. Obviously, including all the William Shakespeare stuff, because this was the town where he came from. You looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And showing you guys like all the history here. Um, there's a reason why it's so famous, obviously. Absolutely. And the beautiful river and canal side and all of that that it's got around it. Uh, the town's really nice, it's got some lovely shops and restaurants, cafes. While you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe. We do day out videos all across the country and do reviews of everywhere we go. So you ready to explore? Let's go. So we parked in this multi-story car park just behind me. And you can see here right next to it, there's a tourist information center. So really useful if you've never come to Stratford before and you want to just get some information, see what touristy kind of sites are around. And then just across this road, you've then got the RSC, the canal, lovely parks. And the town is then just over here. So who have you found here? I found Hamlet. So there's this beautiful statue. Yeah. Shakespeare up the top and then you've got various characters from his plays. So this is Hamlet here. You can see down here Hamlet. <laughs> he's holding the skull. Yeah. No, it's a really good like little area this because it's just in front of the actual RSC itself. And it's quite like links with the history. Yeah, and then the you've got kind of the canal with the river boats, loads of parkland. And here's one of our favourite characters. He's a bit backlit here, but this is Falstaff. He's just such a character. <laughs> he is. You can tell just from this statue. So just on the footbridge across the River Avon, you can see just over here, that's the Royal Shakespeare Company Theatre. So in the summer you could always rent a boat because it's really popular around here. I don't think they're doing it really at the moment. No, but... so I think they have little petrol powered craft and then rowing boats as well. In the height of summer, it is packed with people just everywhere, <laughs> crashing into each other, but it's really good fun. We're just walking up to the RSC to see how busy their cafe is. This is the building. So it's sort of a strange looking place with this big tower at the top. But the theatre, we've been to it a few yeah. times to see Shakespeare plays. It is beautiful it's just such inside. A nice atmosphere. And it's done like a Shakespearean kind of Tudor Elizabethan yeah. theatre. So it's not like a modern one or one of these ones you get from the, the Victorian times. No. It's really, really unique and really steep, yet fantastic views. So this is one of the things that the Stratford is really famous for, these medieval buildings, really Tudor looking. There's even a tourist attraction here called Tudor World. I might go and have a look at that, see what that sort of consists of, but these beautiful bean buildings, all black and white. Really, really I like iconically Warwickshire. We found our favourite building in Stratford. Look at this, the Garrick Inn, and it looks amazing. That Tudor beamwork is just beautiful, huh? Yeah, it's so perfect. It's so like, that is history, you know? So we're here on Henley Street and this is the famous street in Stratford where Shakespeare's birthplace was. Um, there's like a visitor centre here, big gift shop. There's a great big statue of, uh, of William himself there. Um, during the summer, this street is absolutely ram-packed with tourists. Here is the birthplace of Shakespeare, currently under renovation in certain areas, but you can see the age of it. It is, really is ancient. Amazing to think this was around 15, 1600s. I mean, it looks so fragile. It does, you can see it must take a bit of upkeep. You can see the scaffolding on it on this side, but that is it, that is where William Shakespeare was born. Amazing. Really wanted to go here for ages. Yeah, I've never been here, so it'd be good just to have a little look around, see what, like, how big it is. Um, and see how, like, if, as you said, if it's worth the money. Just paid. This is the flight area as we go in. Ooh. It's gonna be warm. <laughs> You're trying to take our coat. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. <laughs> go straight away. There are just butterflies everywhere. Literally immediately, as soon as we came in. 
there are just on this table where they've got feeding. Just so many. It's quite relaxing in here. I mean, yeah. you're quite lucky to come in like late afternoon. Yeah, I think if you come here kind of lunchtime, it's going to be really busy. But there are just butterflies everywhere. You see a few <laughs> flying around, but all in the trees. There are just loads and loads of them. So this discovery zone, they've got loads of information about the plants that butterflies like, about their kind of life cycles. The guy that's putting all the chrysalis, sticking them to kind of wooden rods, I guess, to hatch out. It was amazing. I've never seen them before. Like you see them like behind a display case. Yeah. You don't actually see someone actually sticking them there, down. There were hundreds and apparently has to do that every week to keep the sort of butterfly population to where it should be for this scale of place. One thing to keep in mind is that it is really warm and really humid in here. I guess you need it for the butterflies. They have got kind of coat hangers by the entrance where you can leave your coats and things. You do have to leave them at your kind of discretion. They won't be held responsible for anything. So either bring a bag with you, you can put your coats in there because it is roasting. Like it's, it's quite immersive in here. You've got the bird sounds the water, the, just the atmosphere. Yeah, it's really sort of tropical and lush growth. Yeah. All the planting's really beautiful. There's some beautiful flowers, really exotic kind of big leaf plants, little waterfalls, all with smoke on top of it. It does look really impressive. And it looks like quite inviting. Like, yeah, you've oh, got, I haven't actually gone all the way around yet. Yeah, absolutely. And it's all kind of a winding path, so you can't really see where you're going next. It just winds around the next corner. Yeah, it's very cleverly done. Oh, we're now going into Mini Beast Metropolis. I guess this is insects and things, but we'll find out. So we just found this nice little bench and right next to you is a load of leaf cutter ants. They are amazing taking these leaves from the fresh branches, I guess, to their nest somewhere. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. And they're completely out in the open. I know, anyone could get really close yeah, to Yeah, they're not behind glass or no. anything. That's great, really good. So that's our day over here in Stratford. A really nice Sunday afternoon out. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's such a beautiful place and so much history. Stratford itself, Beautiful, lovely, loads of bars and restaurants. Yeah, lots of places of choices to eat and have a cup of tea on ice cream when it comes to hot days. And just the atmosphere is good. And I think they have markets here as well. Uh, and you just got the river, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, all the Shakespeare stuff here as well. I know people come from all over the world to kind of come to Stratford if they're fans of Shakespeare, see his birthplace, go to the Royal Shakespeare Company, yeah. Fantastic place, like you said, tons of things to see and do. And it's got a perfectly nice high street with loads of shops, loads of little boutique stores as well. So if you want to come here for shopping, brilliant. And also one thing I, that I do love, there's loads of parking, loads of car parks around. Never seem to struggle to get a space. There's also Stratford Butterfly Farm. It's another like little hour out or so just to take the kids. Yeah, yeah. I would say that's a little bit expensive. Um, yeah. Seven, eight pounds, you couldn't spend any more than probably an hour there. Um, but it was really immersive. The planting and the whole sort of atmosphere and environment was very well done. And tons of butterflies. And I think it seemed like tons of butterflies because there wasn't lots of people in there. I think yeah. there's a lot of people. You keep stopping, starting, people taking photos, obviously. Yeah. I bet um, in the summer it is absolutely rammed in there. It's right next to one of the biggest car parks in Stratford. So if you can try and get out of season or like we did, go late on in the afternoon. With that being said, it's been a great day. We're off home. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.